Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you what I like to call my chicken parm stuffed zucchini boats. Now, I shared a picture on Instagram about a week or so ago, and I wasn't going to film a video on it because to me this is a bit more summary of a recipe, but I literally had hundreds of people asking for the recipe, and you know I love to please you guys, and you know I love to bring you real food, food that I go to when, you know, I'm short on time, or I have a few things in the fridge, or whatever I can, you know, put together. I like to always share it with you because that's home cooking. That's what cooking is all about. Use what you have, make it work for you. And when I came up with this recipe, Joe and I loved it. So when we're in the mood for like a chicken parm, but I don't want to go through the hassle of chicken parm, this is a great little alternative that's lighter, easier to make, and everyone loves it. Let me run you through the list of ingredients. You'll need some ground chicken. I've got a little bit of onion. I've got some diced tomatoes and garlic an egg, shredded mozz, lots of parm of course, olive oil, salt and pepper, some Italian seasoning, this is my Italian seasoning blend, a little bit of breadcrumbs, and then you're gonna need your zucchini, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So that is it, but you can feel free to play around with these ingredients. If you don't have fresh tomatoes, because I know that right now tomatoes aren't like the best, you know, because they're not, they're not summertime tomatoes, use canned diced tomatoes. Who cares? Make it work for you. Now I've got a small skillet here with a little bit of olive oil. I have that preheating over about medium heat to it. I'm gonna add my onion along with a small pinch of salt. The salt just kind of helps draw moisture out of the onion, it helps it cook down a little bit faster. I'm not looking to develop a lot of color, I just want this to become translucent. Just gonna turn that down. It's a little bit hot. I'm just gonna keep my eye on this for a few minutes. In the meantime, let me just share with you what I've done to my zucchini. Now, this recipe makes enough, a good amount of filling for about four boats, sometimes even six, depending on how big your zucchini is. That's why you're gonna need to play around and I can't tell you exactly how many it's gonna make. Today, I'm gonna make three little boats, which are just, um, which is one and a half zucchini because as you can see, they're nice and big and I want the leftover, I want some leftover filling to stuff zucchini another day. So what I've done is I've just washed them really well. I just sliced them lengthwise and scooped out the center. You wanna make sure you don't scoop it out all the way, otherwise your filling is gonna come out. You need a little bit of a border, so that's why I kinda do it that way. And just kind of let the seeds guide you, just get rid of all the seeds, but make sure you leave a little bit of the actual flesh behind. So like I said, I'm gonna have leftover filling today, but that's because I wanna stuff zucchini another day and <laughs> have the filling already done. Makes great meatballs too. All right, I'm just gonna keep my eye on my onions. They just take a few more minutes, and I also have my oven preheated to 400. These look great. I'm actually gonna add the garlic and the tomatoes all at once, because I don't wanna cook them for a long time. I just want them to cook for about 30 seconds or so, just to get rid of that raw garlic bite and to warm up the tomatoes all the way through. And then I like a good pinch of Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon or so. This is my Italian seasoning blend from my book, so if you have my book, you have that recipe. Just let that go for about 30 seconds and then just let this mixture cool and then we'll make our filling. Let's make our filling. To my ground chicken, I want a nice pinch of salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna add an egg. It's gonna keep things really nice and moist. A little bit of moths, because why not? And I want a good grating of parm, freshly grated parm, of course. There's just nothing like it. You can't beat it. It just, it's the best. Okay, and then we're gonna add the sauteed onion mixture with the garlic and the tomatoes and then seasoning. It smells fantastic. And like I said, if you don't wanna fill the little zucchini boats. What you can do with this mixture, you can make a little like little meatballs. I would suggest adding just a little bit of breadcrumb to the filling if you're gonna do that because it will help kind of hold everything better. And you have little meatballs and you could roast them in a hot oven. You can just put them on a baking sheet, on an oiled baking sheet, roast them in a 400 degree oven for like 15, 20 minutes and they would be fantastic um, for a sub or whatever. Is there really a bad time to eat a meatball or a bad way to eat a meatball? I don't think so. So that's another option for you. But you can see, this makes a lot of filling. So I'm probably gonna do three of these zucchini boats and then probably three more because like I said, look at this. 
it's a ton. It's perfect. I'm just going to set this aside. And then I just take the filling with a spoon and just stuff that right into the little boat. If any goes on the side, who cares? It'll be delicious. And feel free to pile it up quite a bit, just like that. Okay, just want to do a little bit of parm on top, like so. Lovely. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of breadcrumb, like I'm not even kidding, maybe a teaspoon for each one, like not a lot, but it does create just a little tiny bit of a crust, like a, like a smidge of a crust, which I love for, you know, chick regular chicken parm. That's why I like it here, and then it gets nice and crispy in the oven. So I really like to do that, but you don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to keep it completely bread free, you can certainly do that. So just a little tiny bit on each one really goes a long way. And then it just needs a drizzle of olive oil on top, just a little bit, just to help it brown a smidge. And then I've got some tomatoes and garlic and basil that I'm just going to scatter around the edges. Now, if you want to, you could certainly make like a really nice marinara sauce to go alongside. But one of the beautiful things about a dish like this is that it's all in one pan. You don't have to make sauce on the side. You don't have to do anything. So this makes not necessarily a sauce, but it gives you that tomato-y component. If you have sauce already in the fridge, then that's even better. Then it's one less thing for you to do. But for in this case, I'm just going to add some, just some tomatoes and some garlic and basil around the edges. It'll make a nice little yummy goodness. Perfect. I like a lot of tomatoes, so I'm going to add all of them. And then just a little olive oil around the edges, mainly for the tomatoes, 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 tomatoes whatever you call it, and then just a little bit of salt. That's it, just on the tomatoes. I'm just gonna pop this into my oven at 400 for about a half an hour or so, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. That's it. My zucchini looks fantastic. It was in the oven for 30 minutes exactly. If you need, um, if, if you want yours to be a little more brown and crispy, turn your broiler on and pop it in there for a few more minutes. Just don't let it bake for too, too long, otherwise you'll dry out the filling, which you don't want. I'm gonna grab a little mapine. I'm just gonna grab one. Lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous. Perfectly cooked. I want some of this tomato goodness on the side, because I like a little bit of that tomato with just about every bite. You can see it's kind of like the tomatoes have softened a bit. Well, they've softened quite a lot, but you can see some of them have developed a little bit of color, that sort of caramel looking color. That is gonna be wonderful. You see how juicy that filling is? Perfectly cooked, not dry at all. Let's give this a go. And if you want to, you can serve this with some pasta on the side. You can serve it with a green salad, with some steamed vegetables. If you have the oven preheated to, um, heated to 400 already, throw some broccoli in there with some olive oil, salt and pepper and seasoning and, so and roast that for 20 minutes and serve it alongside. It's fantastic. And it's super easy too. I know this is gonna be hot, so just bear with me. Mmm. Wow. I love that so much. By itself, like I said, with a green salad, would be the most wonderful, light, yet satisfying dinner. Go to lauraintheKitchen.com. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. Follow me on social media if you don't, particularly on Instagram, because that's where you see a lot of what I cook day to day, what I'm up to in the kitchen. I think you'll get a real kick out of it, and you'll have your input on what I should post. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.